On July 1, 2025, a major step was taken in reshaping Europe's military landscape with the official launch of Project Marte, a collaborative European initiative aimed at developing a cutting-edge main battle tank, MBT, for the future. Spearheaded by the joint venture Marte ARG GBR, which unites KNDS Deutschland GmbH and company. KG and Rainmetal Land System GmbH, the effort is backed by a €20 million Euro grant from the European Defence Fund and represents a strategic move to consolidate the continent's armoured warfare capabilities under one modernised framework. The Marte programme is not merely another military R&D project, it is a continent-spanning alliance composed of 51 organisations from 12 countries, including 11 EU member states and Norway. It unites major industrial players, specialized defense firms, top-tier research bodies, and agile SMEs, all working toward a common objective, building a next-generation armored platform capable of withstanding future battlefront challenges. At the heart of this endeavor lies a vision to enhance Europe's strategic defense independence and foster seamless operational cooperation among its armed forces. With strong institutional support from 11 ministries of defense, most notably Germany's, the Marte initiative reflects a collective recognition of the urgent need for a new standard in armored warfare. Participating countries such as Finland, Italy, Romania, Sweden, and Spain underscore the wide political consensus behind the mission. Despite growing emphasis on drones, AI, and cyber warfare, the enduring relevance of tanks in high-stakes conflicts remains evident particularly in light of the lessons drawn from the war in Ukraine. Combat experience has highlighted the irreplaceable role of heavily armored units in securing terrain, providing frontline firepower, and ensuring the survivability of mechanized troops. Rather than fading into obsolescence, MBTs are proving indispensable in modern kinetic warfare. Many European nations currently rely on outdated or heavily modified versions of legacy platforms such as the Leopard 2, the British Challenger 2, or various Soviet-era designs. These systems, while serviceable, are increasingly outmatched by newer threats like loitering munitions, electronic jamming, and high-precision strikes. Marte is designed to leapfrog these limitations by introducing a battle tank that is not only survivable and lethal, but also digitally connected and built for integrated network warfare. The project is divided into five key technical domains, each assigned to a leading European defense contractor. These include firepower, protection, mobility, command and control systems, and situational awareness. German firms KNDS and Rainmetal, Italy's Leonardo, Spain's Indra Sistemas, and Sweden's Saab are leading the charge in their respective areas of expertise. The project coordination is overseen by Marte ARG, with organizational and strategic support from consulting group Erden. The program officially commenced on December 1, 2024, and its first major milestone came with a kickoff meeting in Stockholm on December 5 to 6 of that year. Defense representatives, corporate leaders, and engineers gathered to outline the mission parameters and set a collaborative tone for the years ahead. With integration and interoperability at its core, the Marte project is not just about designing a tank, it's about shaping a unified European response to the evolving face of warfare. By channeling resources, innovation, and lessons learned from real-world conflicts into a coherent and ambitious framework, Project Marte stands poised to deliver a formidable leap in Europe's land combat capabilities. The new platform, once realized, is expected to become the gold standard for European armoured forces for decades to come.